Hi, Tom. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Thanks for taking the time. Sarah. Had a lot of fun with Space Cadet. I love how it's kind of got this real sort of classic comedy feel with a bit of a splash of, of romance, but also feels very 2024 and, you know, having this very messy kind of female protagonist, you know, very diverse cast. When you picked up that script, what really stood out to you? I think exactly that, really. Like, I love that it was female driven. You know, I, I love to see that. You know, my my wife is a massive feminist, and you know, we I'm always like trying to look for some projects that are pushing that. You know, because um, there's been a lack of it in in recent decades. I would say. I think also in in a in a role like becoming an astronaut. You know, I think it's it's it feels like so I always say it feels like something that no one can achieve, right? Becoming an astronaut, but I always say it's actually. You know, I think if you put your mind to it, anything is achievable. The main thing I loved about the script was how fun it was. You know, it's I, I love Liz's writing. Liz is such a great director and collaborator. And as soon as I met with her on the project, I knew what it was going to be. So I, you know, for me, it was like it's a, it's a number of things that make you want to do the project in the end of the day. But I just thought it was going to be so much fun and to play this version of Logan because we didn't know he was going to be British initially either. Like we talked about what where he was from and Liz came up with the idea. She was like, hey, you know, how would you feel about him being British? And I was like, actually, in this world, I actually think that could be really fun to bring like a British nerdy astronaut into the into the mix. And how did you approach playing Logan? Because I guess... I mean, the sort of the space aspects to convincingly seem like, you know, you're someone that works in NASA. Did you kind of go back and watch any movies or do a lot of research? But then also the character himself, you know, I guess he is kind of geeky and reserved. Um, and then working alongside um, Emma, you know, how did you bring out that kind of this professional, but also kind of romantic relationship between the two of you? Yeah, I kind of saw him as like, for me, it was a bit of a Clark Kent, Lux Lane situation, you know, like that he sort of secretly has, I think there's another side to Logan. I think he's always trying to stay professional within this NASA world. And actually, I think there is a wilder side to him. And I think he's always fighting with, with Rex. He's always trying to fight to, to maintain that professionalism, but she's bringing out this other side. So for me as an actor to play that duality and that conflict of what he's supposed to be doing, keeping professional, but also being drawn towards this girl from Florida that he's so, he doesn't understand why he's so drawn towards her. You know, for me, that was a lot of fun to play. And Emma does just light up every scene that she's in and is like not yeah, afraid to kind of get into all the physical comedy aspects. And, you know, she's just like really fearless in the way she plays it. What was it like working alongside her? Yeah, she's great. You know, we I think we work well together because um, I'm kind of up for anything as an actor. So like if something gets thrown in, it's like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's try it. Um, and she has a similar energy. So I think when you have two actors that work together like that, it can be great because you you both feel quite comfortable quite quickly to try anything and you feel safe. Because sometimes, you know, when you're with an actor that isn't wanting to try anything, it can be quite uh, stunting. You know, you can't really get the flow of a scene. So, yeah, she, she was great. She's a ball of energy. Did you have... A favourite scene, um, particularly funny moment or anything that was like a bit challenging? I actually, the, the the most fun scenes for me was when Liz kind of let me just kind of riff, you know, when I'm all the phone call scenes to uh, to Rex or to when I'm trying to call all her references, you know, all those moments were were a lot of fun for me because she kind of just let me riff on it and uh, and have some fun. So as an actor, you know, like I love that, you know, I love being able to just kind of be free and just be in the character's world and play scenes out, you know. And in terms of the takeaways, yeah, as we said, you kind of can go on this ride with, with the comedy, but there is a message in there, you know, it is a really empowering kind of idea that you can reach for the stars and achieve your aspirations. And also the fact that, you know, women and people of color are making um, inroads into STEM subjects and science and space and things like this. So it can be a very inspirational film as well. Yeah, I, I that's one of the reasons I loved it so much. I think it's very 2024. It's and it's inspirational for, I mean, I think about when I make movies now, you know, and make any show or want to be a part of something a big part of it is because i have kids you know and i think you know what things will they watch of me in when they're older or even now and take something from you know it's not just about what i want to do anymore it's about what it might mean if they saw it and what it's saying so i think it's important to to find things even when you're having a laugh and they're a fun movie and they're a comedy but they're also saying something you know thank you so much for sharing all that with me congrats on the film can't wait for everyone else to see space cadet thanks a lot
Thanks, Sarah. Lovely to chat to you. Thank you. Bye.